Hey guys, John Reitinger here, back with some advice for aspiring tech reviewers. I started this series a few months back where I just give some advice to the aspiring tech reviewers and the aspiring YouTubers of the world. I consider myself to be really lucky and really fortunate to have achieved even just a little bit of success on YouTube and the online community, and I'd like to share what I've learned to help you guys achieve the same success and hopefully more than I have. So I'm going to be rehashing some of the old things I've talked about and bring up some new ideas. I hope you guys find this helpful. The first bit of advice that I have, and I always come back to this because I think it's the most important, is stick with it. And nothing's going to happen overnight. Even if you upload 10 movies in 4 days, you aren't going to all of a sudden have 10,000 subscribers. It just doesn't happen. Stick with it. You're going to have to go through some rough times when you're stuck for 3 or 4 months with only a few subscribers and a few video views. It happens, it happened to me, it's happened to the guys that are way bigger than I am, even in the comedy field, in the director's field, not just science and technology. It happens, you just have to stick with it and have confidence in yourself. The most important thing, other than having confidence, is to enjoy what you're doing. If you're enjoying talking about technology, you know, then for it won't matter how many people are watching your videos, how many subscribers you have, you'll make the videos because you're enjoying it, and it's a passion that you have. And that's really what kept me going during the dry times, is I love this. I get to talk about technology. I mean, this is, I've been talking about tech since I was a kid, and the fact that I now get to share that with you guys, I mean, it really is a dream come true for me. So I'm fortunate to have the subscribers that I do, but even if I didn't, it really wouldn't matter. I'd still be making these videos, and I still made the videos when I didn't have any subscribers or I didn't have any views. So there's something else to keep in mind. Just love what you're doing, enjoy it. If you stop enjoying it, you know, it's time to think of something else to do. The next thing is the haters. It's very easy to sit behind a computer anonymously when you just no, one, no one knows who you are and just see your handle and criticize what you're doing. For people that don't make videos, they don't realize how hard it is to really sit in front of a camera and put yourself out there. You know, you're opening yourself up to criticism for how you talk, how you look, what you're saying, what's behind you, what camera you're using. Just a myriad of ways that you're opening yourself up and it takes, I think it takes some courage to put yourself out there and make a video. So be confident in yourself and don't let those haters get you down, the ones that put little jabs, you know, here and there. It's going to happen. Make use of the block button, make use of the spam button, and just delete them and try and move on and don't let it get you down. I know it's easier to say than to do, but there have been times when I've let the haters really get me down. I've considered, you know, quitting and dropping out and doing something else. Yeah, but then I realized again how much I love what I'm doing and one or two people that might disagree with me isn't going to change it. You're always going to find dissenting opinions no matter what you do in life, whether it's technology reviews or doctor, lawyer, business, whatever you decide, people aren't always going to agree with what you do and what you say. So I guess it's a good life lesson. It's just to develop a little thicker skin and just move on. So the next thing I want to talk about is video length. This is sort of a new thing that I'm talking about. While you're trying to grow an audience, you may have a hard time keeping a captive viewer for a period of longer than five to six minutes, say. If you're not established, people don't know your content, odds are they're just going to keep fast forwarding or they're going to close your window. For those that are just starting out, I recommend shorter videos. Maybe three or four minutes really is a sweet spot. Get your point, say what it is. If you're unboxing, make it a short and sweet unboxing. That way you can really keep people's attention, have them kind of coming back wanting from wanting more. As you grow your audience and people trust you and they know that what you're going to be saying next adds some value, then increase the length of your videos. Next thing guys is a lot of people think that the more videos you upload, the bigger audience you're going to get. And to some extent that's true. But some people are uploading 10 videos in one day or two days. It's not the bulk of the videos that you guys upload, it's the quality. Spend the time with your videos making sure that what you're saying is worthwhile and what you're showing is worthwhile and make sure you do some proper editing as well. If you don't have editing software, that's okay. Most Windows computers come with Windows Movie Maker, which can more than suffice. And if you have a Mac, that of course comes with some version of iMovie, no matter what year it is, whether iMovie HD, 08, 09, whatever it is, you have some version that you can edit with. So learn those tools. There are a lot of freeware tools out there too for video editing. So do some research and find one that's best for you and learn. If technology reviewing is what you guys enjoy, then you're going to want to know how to use the tools to trade. Something that I think is very important. So guys, the next thing that I want to talk about, kind of one of the final things that I say in, in conclusion, is stick with it, 
Be happy with what you're doing, enjoy what you're doing, and have confidence in what you guys are saying. I'm out there watching all your guys' videos. I can't respond to everybody's email, but I am checking them out. I think you guys are doing a fantastic job. There are a lot of really, really, really good reviewers out there that the world hasn't met yet. And I think that you guys are, are those. There are a ton of people out there that have way more talent than I do for technology reviewing. And if you stick with it, you have no doubt that you guys will be a success. Hope you found this helpful. And if you guys have other comments or other tips that you have for the tech reviewers, be sure to leave them down below. I think it's nice that we can share with each other a little bit, make a, make a community out of this. So, hope you enjoyed. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash john lakers I'll put a link to that in the sidebar, as I always do. And I will see you right in the camera in the next video. Bye, guys.